What has he not been advocating for? You know, we are coalition parties and, and bound as such as coalition partners and respect each other. But nothing uh, bars from ODM from saying we want to move in this direction. As, as you heard me say, they're already recruiting, they're already strengthening ODM. And so, as far as WIPA is concerned, they are very clear on the way they want to go. Of course, National Executive Council do not have the mandate to endorse a presidential candidate at this stage. But nothing prevents that presidential candidate from covering the length and the breadth of this country, introducing himself, consulting, consulting. Those are the words. Please note that K27, <laughs> um, 47. How is as a mere point of intact, like you say, when we know that the National Council we may not be meeting every day. By the way, we wanted to allow Kenyans to enjoy their holidays, right? It is a meeting. Whatever, whatever left, whatever was left of them to enjoy under this very difficult economic situation, all right? We are in constant consultation. You heard me tell you I'm talking to Raila. We're talking this morning, we had a meeting with Senator Gideon Moy. We are, I think the other day I met uh, Eugene, yeah? And uh, we've been talking to each other. We were with Mother Karua at the award of um, the Jurist of the Year Award at the French Embassy. We talk. But now, obviously, I agree with you, we need to have some formal sittings. And we're going to do that. And this will constitute uh, the necessary consultations. Yes, ma'am. And maybe the last one. Yes, ma'am. I thought they were threatening not Kenya, to do. Kenya Kwanzaa, Kenya Kwanzaa said they will not do public participation, right? They will do it against the court order. Therefore, we urge our members in the coalition, as Mio Laomoja, one Kenya coalition, not to be party to that blatant abuse. Blatant abuse. I think it is, you know, that chorus singing where people they feel they must uh, please William Ruto. So they want to be more William Ruto than William Ruto himself. That's, and and that you call that psychophancy. Please be guided. All of the members of parliament are sworn to uphold the constitution of Kenya as by law established. So, if they want to compound the problem is their business. And by the way, on this issue, Kenyans went to the streets because of the high cost of living. If you add this abuse of the constitutional order, then you are quoting for a real disaster. I hope I've answered that. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no.